hey y'all welcome welcome back to my channel it's like one once i'm almost two um so we start we starting to vlog a little bit um late should i center this light in a little mama get out of my makeup and go play oh shuki this is the downside of being a single mother with a little boy is you can't have them go duck off with the dad while you do girly things they mock literally everything you do mama go play and get out of my makeup anyway i'm putting on this shea butter on my face i got some vaseline i'm gonna put on my lips right now like i'm doing my makeup routine because somebody asked in the comments uh a couple vlogs ago for a makeup routine so here you are you better be watching too for my primer i'm gonna be using the elf poreless primer this is gonna take about that much i want to make this like creating memories from scratch kind of thing the reason why I say make memories from scratch is because y'all know my situation. Y'all know my position in life right now. So it's, it's going to be very hard to try to make memories in such a hostile and toxic environment that I'm in. And also just the simple fact of I'm not where I particularly wanted, wanted to be in life. But that's okay. You have to meet yourself where you are. Like, take your situation as it is and create memories the best way you know how to. I'm taking this Finny Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 400. I'm using this Eco Tool um, brush. It's a foundation brush. And I'm just taking like a buttload of it and putting it right here so my contour can blend into my face. It's a good blur without being too heavy. I'm getting this face brush out of this brush kit that I got from Walmart. And I'm kind of just blending it in, maybe getting off the excess. Don't stick nothing in that heater. I'm getting ready because I actually have to go check on a building for Miss Lane. So now I'm finna take this uh, Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation that's Powder. That's in the shade um 330 yeah. toffee it's from the same brush kit in walmart it's like this flat foundation brush and i'm gonna take like a buttload of this and carve out my nose and i'm focusing on putting it on the tips too because that's mainly where the carving is gonna take place y'all he had my freaking brush in his mouth and it's damp and then i'm gonna pat it like that I finally found a site where I can actually register. I don't know. That was like the hardest part about figuring all of this out is actually registering. Like the people who were helping me, they registered theirs in another state. So it was a different process. And other people, like I went to the courthouse, I went to city hall. They gave me a number. They didn't know what to do. Like I basically got sent around in circles trying to figure out how to register this nonprofit, and I finally freaking got it. I finally found the website, and I was registering, but now I have to find a registered agent. Now I'm going to take the same thing, just in a different shade. This is Toa from the Flow Up, so let me look at this one. This is the same thing. It's the it's in the shade 360 Mocha, same Fit, fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation Powder. And I'm gonna use this from the same brush kit. I'm, I'm gonna. I got. I gotta knock the powder out from the edges because this is past. Like I'm. I'm gonna use every single bit of this before I get rid of it. And I'm just gonna use this as a contour and put it around my forehead. My jaw. A big problem that I found that I was doing was putting it like this instead of like this you angle it down you'll get right on the jaw but if you do like this it'll be a line right here and that's why some people be having that line of demarcation you have to get the actual bone so that not that then i'm just gonna hit my cheekbones but notice i don't pull it all the way down here no more i don't know if y'all have ever seen my previous makeup tutorials or anything but i keep it at the corner right here to keep it very light and natural because later on I'm going to be adding stuff to my cheek 
and it'll make it blend so much better and I won't be piling up so much product in this area. And then I'm gonna take this brush from the same kit, nice eyeshadow brush, going in with the same powder to contour my nose. Now the main part about contouring your nose is brushing the nose contour and the brow. And that's my main focus. As you can see, once I do that, I don't have to bring that contour down. No. But since it's yes, Bubba. Since it's so much lightness in this area, I'm just gonna bring it down no. to darken my darken this area, bring some color in this area. No. But I don't have to like put a lot. I can keep it light. I'm gonna take that same face brush and just blend all of that out. I do a lot of blending with this brush just to make my face look a little bit more. <laughs> air filtered and also to dust off any extra product because I want as light on the product as possible. Well, hold on, Bubba. I'm doing something. LA Colors is in the color Nude. Do not fear. Don't get scared. Like, again, I'm going to really focus on the tip because that's what I mainly need for this step. And I'm going to use that to recarve out my nose. I'm just going to put a little bit right there. And immediately go What's wrong? Y'all see his nose? Your nose looks nasty. You're gonna get mad at me. We don't do that around here, buddy. Uh, now for blush, I'm gonna use this Perfusion Blush and Bronzer Palette. And I'm gonna use the colors Warm Peach and Coral Pink. With this brush, I don't know where I got it from. It's like a smaller version of the face powder brush. And I'm just gonna do Coral Pink and Warm Peach. Bubba, get out of my makeup. Here, play with this. Why did I give him musical instruments while I'm trying to do a video? That was so smart, Shaggy. Focus it on my cheeks. Face powder brush, blend it in. I was born by the river in a little tin. And oh, just like that river I've been running ever since. All right, y'all, we are back in the cut. He just needed a little singing too. Even though his mama can't sing, he loved my voice anyway. Anyway, back to this makeup tutorial. I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shopper Sugar Cone Palette. I'm going to go in with their dipped in cinnamon um highlighter i'm just gonna do that nose and lip and with my outer corner i don't drag that down either let me put y'all on i stay on the bone right here this little c right here and i go ahead and hit my eyebrows with it too just that little that little and when i go right here i go towards the front the top not the side but the thing that's how you get the highlight in the front when you blend it it'll go all around like that but y'all see that you don't want the highlighter to stop right here of course you want it to go down here because naturally you have a highlight all the way down there but you don't want such a harsh line right there and like it's glitter all over your face and then it looks so so harsh i'm gonna get this random brush I don't know. It looks like this though. Dip it in these two colors. We just gonna put that in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take like this round brush, like this small round brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend out my brow. You put this in your mouth. Now I got that wet line. Y'all see that? Look what he did. I'm just gonna use the corner, the side of it, to blend out this highlighter. Mainly blend out the bottom part, cause I don't wanna blend it off, but I do wanna blend it, you see what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna go in for the eyebrows. The eyebrows, I have learned less is better. I'm gonna just show y'all what I do, but I'm gonna actually like do it, do it off camera. <laughs> 
because I can't see jack squat from where I'm at. What I do is I get this spoolie, brush them up, carve it out or whatever. And I get this random stuff from the hair store. What I do is I start from the back. I, I pinch this right here. And I, and I rubbed off the excess. I don't want much on here. Then I go in with a light hand and simply just do this. Instead of drawing like a line, well, a, this kind of line, what is it? A horizontal line, I'm drawing like angle lines where my hair is. Just filling it in. I'm going to go in heavy with the spoolie at the front just to kind of fade it out. And then I'm just going to lightly blend the rest in and carve that up. This is brow one. I also noticed, like, do y'all see the difference? It's not much difference. That usually takes a toll on people's confidence. Is when they put on heavy makeup daily to look how they want to look. When they take it off at the end of the day, it looks nothing like them. The person they're embracing is not what they actually look like. Some people do it for art, that's cool, but people who do it on the daily basis to try to snatch up their face and make them look this way. When you use less makeup and you use makeup to just smooth out your face, rather enhance or dehance or change any facial features, your confidence will grow because then you'll learn to flaunt a person that looks more like you. A lot of people don't have that problem. A lot of people do. If it resonates with you, good. If it don't, just skip over it. You know, don't listen to me. But I know I did struggle with that. All right, y'all. So this is how the face looking. Now I'm going to go in with this Ulta Beauty Setting Spray. Spray my face down. And then I'm gonna fan myself. Oh. Lips. I go in with this Morphe palette. It's called Bronze Gold 35G. I'm gonna wipe off this excess highlighter. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm gonna go in with this, the darkest brown in this palette. And use this as a lip liner. Now, a trick with the liner. The top, I do regular, right? The bottom, I it feel like it seems like I have a double lip liner. So, I actually go a little bit under my lip liner. Because on my lip line, the actual lip line is where the highlighter is at. But when I get down here, on the corners, as you can see, I stay under. Well, over, I guess, since it's the bottom. I stay inside it, but once I get to this middle part, I get right on it, like this. And then I just connect it. This creates a more pooch look. Now you're going to blend that in. Clear lip gloss. This is the lip oil from the hair store. And boom. That's the look. Oh, one step I'm forgetting that's going to make me mad. Get something. It don't matter what. Just something. And do that so your lips don't be looking all nasty and gooey when you talk. I'm going to be using this Ruby Kisses Multifunction Mascara in the color Blackest Black. Mascara. Hello. Yes, mama. I go at the top and then I go at the bottom. All right, y'all, we can't go to the place right now because I actually need to find a ride because my car won't be fixed till this weekend. But this is what I'm looking like. These jeans are from Fashion Nova. Shirt, Fruit of Loom from Walmart. Got on some leather Ugg boots. And I've kind of been loving my hair just down. My ear just got nothing in applesauce and my brother messed up his shirt and tried Y'all, he buttoned it up, tried to hide it, and I undid it. And I was like, bruh, really? But I don't really care. We're finna do the fall photo shoot little thing first. And then we're gonna leave whenever my sister pull up. Y'all, it's really nice lighting right here. Come here. So I'm gonna set up the hay bales right here. And it's a nice bit of greenery. These are the hay bales. I remember the last one of these previous videos, the decoration. Those are the hay bales we're using. Hey. 
Some pumpkins would have been really nice. Yeah. Right here. We're gonna just work with what we got. If I can find something to put at the on the bottom of these two, then we'll be good. But I found this tin bucket, so what I'ma do is I'm thinking about having Mama. I'm thinking about having him sit on the tin bucket or putting the tin bucket behind here so these can fit on it. Let's see. I don't want these to come out. It's just like this. Come out kind of like that. Stop climbing up them stairs. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take something like this, and then I'm gonna take some like the tin bucket holding this up. With them sitting on the haystack. I got my brother's phone to take pictures on them. Bubba. Say cheese. I'm trying to duck out the way of the sun. <laughs> Mama. Say cheese. All right, y'all. My sister just came home, so I'm using her car. My ears back there, chomping on some pizza. We're just gonna try to go to the place for the building tomorrow it just we was a little too late we headed to brookshire's we just gotta go pick up some croissants and some sweet potatoes um it is wednesday so church is tonight which completely slipped my mind i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking and we're gonna make the cinnamon rolls when we get home from church i will see y'all later Good job, Bubba. <laughs> I got three, three potatoes. I'm trying to fight him with this thing. I can't even record. Come on. Go ahead, go. Go. All right, y'all, I just made it home. I'm finna start cooking. I got like maybe about an hour to finish. I got the sweet potatoes for dessert later on. I got two butterfly croissants. I need to start preheating the oven. And I also got me another jug of water because after so long, I just don't want to drink out the same one. So I'm finna wash my hands and Get the phone down. Open up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity. Reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait upon the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her I'm gonna be so 
like 7 15 we just got done eating oh. we had a little bit of leftovers i'm gonna just eat that tomorrow no my mind we didn't end up going to church i'm just gonna go ahead and start on the potato the um cinnamon rolls hey y'all um my ear was not feeling he peed on the floor now he's swishing it around now he's rubbing it in. Ah, oh, he just rubbed it in. <laughs> anyway, y'all, he um he was not feeling good at all. So he um he went to sleep and I let him and I just didn't cook the pot um potatoes because that was gonna take too long to make and I saw he was getting sleepy. I didn't want to wake him up or none of that. So we just gonna do it another time. But are you boo booing now? But now we just finna do our night routine. Once we're done, we are gonna paint. But um, right now I'm just finna take him a bath and get him get him ready for bed. He is peeing and playing it. All right, y'all. We just got out the tub. <laughs> I thought I recorded, but apparently I ran out of story. So honestly, y'all didn't miss nothing. We just took a bath with what we use in the morning. We use the same products day and night. But only thing different is I, I don't rinse him in the shower. We do everything sitting down in a sitting body of water because with it being so cold, he can't, he cannot get it. He, he just cannot get his head wet. Plus, he's sick. Instead of reading a book tonight, I decided that it would be a great idea for us to paint something. We have this canvas and this box of paint right here. And we're just going to paint something today and mess up my sheets and our clothes. <laughs> what color you want? Got the whole world in your hands, but you still reaching out for me. Ooh, wow. 
about why you love me too i'm nothing like you opposite of holiness we're about to call it a night but this is our this is our painting it is called the chaotic beauty of motherhood that's our whole thing when it's dry i'm definitely gonna hang this up on this wall oh mama you're such a good artist he literally painted most of himself in my bed and he did a little artwork on here but we got some of it to the canvas but now we're gonna go to bed because he's whining he also had a little mouth work there <laughs> now he messing up all the baby towel bubba hey y'all so i'm back um i'm working out with my sister but she don't want to be in the in the camera she don't want to be seen so she right over there but we're gonna be working out together we already did our stretches and so we're gonna start this nightly workout thing and i am gonna do a little montage real quick but i want to do some shorts that focuses in on every workout that i'm doing like my daily weekly workout split which i'm gonna be doing for the next six months and also um, my workouts for these monthly challenges for the next six months. I'm gonna start doing some isolation workouts at nighttime, as well as with my, you know, everyday split, whatever. And I'm gonna make some shorts about that. So, yeah. Anyways, for right now, we can do this. <laughs> Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah No longer blinded I can see you I'm on but like, Do y'all see the shape shaping? Or is it just me being the Lulu? Cause it look like the shape shaping to me In the shower y'all know my shower routine i ain't finna keep stressing myself out and recording with this janky tripod it keeps slipping in this freaking shower i use this stuff it's safe for me in my ear so like ain't gotta worry about him being on my skin and whatever on my skin breaking me out we take a shower together I ain't gotta worry about this getting on his skin and breaking mine out breaking his out this is unseen baby Really? Hey y'all, so I just got out the shower, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to cap. <laughs> I don't moisturize my skin. That's why like, I go from getting in the shower and I'm out of the shower and like, there's no routine that follows. But that's only because I have yet to find something that doesn't break my skin out. Like, <laughs> it's so hard. So what I'm working on is... I'm working on making me like this, um, my own product that won't break me out, obviously, that'll hydrate my body, and then I'll just top it off with some whip shea butter, but shea butter is just so freaking, like, I be struggling using it on my baby, like, y'all know I be shea buttering my baby down after every single bath, but, like, it be so irritating having to rub it in so much for it using, so what I want to do is, I want to get some shea butter, but I want to mix it with another oil that's not so buttery, not so thick, and whip it so it'll be, you know, real, like, soft or whatever. And that way, it'll be a little bit easier to rub in. But I still want it to be, like, a oil so it can, like, seal in the, the, the hydration or whatever. I'm working on my skincare routine, but as of now, I get in the shower and hop out and put on clothes. Because everything literally breaks me out. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm so freaking sick of it. You don't even understand. But anyway, yeah, tonight I figured, you know, why not do a little masky mask? First thing I do, wash my face. I just got out the shower, so there's no need to wash my hands. But yes, if I hadn't, like, you know, just got out the shower, I, I would have been washing my hands. You know? So... I use Oxy. I have to use a benzoyl peroxide acne face wash because that's the only thing that really helps my bumps. So, yeah, let's get into it. That's the end of the video. I'll 
okay like that was the whole goal here was to just show y'all my night routine but now i'm gonna lay down and i'm gonna end this video and i'm gonna call it a night because it's already late and tomorrow's saturday which means my mama gonna have us up at the crack butt crack of dawn trying to clean up like we ain't got all day to do it and i have to babysit and like it's gonna be a day tomorrow, so I just wanna go ahead and get this done today so I can get this starting to upload tonight and have this in the time it's supposed to be up, okay? I will see y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment some things that y'all like, dislike about this video, some things that y'all wanna see in my upcoming vlogs, just whatever, constructive criticism, some encouragement, or just say what's up. And subscribe to this channel if you want to see more relatable single mom content or any kind of content relating to getting closer to God, bettering yourself. If you want, you know, empowerment and community of a strong woman, strong godly woman, then I suggest you hit the subscribe button because that's what you're going to find here on this channel, period. God bless.